What is going on guys? It is Parker here bringing y'all another video. Super, super exciting video today. We have the Defonts Apocalypse sub. It looks to be an awesome sub, but uh, we're going to get into it, take a look at it, run some tests on it, and see how it does. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so just about a week ago, uh, Defbont hit me up and said they wanted to send me a few products to test out for y'all. So I said, okay, let's do it. So of course they sent me this sub. And then real quick sneak peek, we have the Sylvester speakers and the Arnold speakers. So super excited to be testing these out here in the future. So stay tuned for that. But in today's video... We're, of course, looking at the Defonts Apocalypse sub. This is their 1500-watt uh, RMS sub, of course, the SA272. So super excited to be taking this out, guys. Uh, let's get a little closer look up at it and get right into it. All right, guys, first off comes in a, of course, really nice, cool-looking box. And then over here it has a, just a quick few of the main specs. Of course, we have we have the 12-inch version in a dual 2-ohm. Which is perfect, we can run it down to 1 ohm to really do some testing. It is 1500 watts RMS and 3000 watts max. It does have a 2 and 3 quarters inch voice coil. And that is a copper coated aluminum voice coil. And it should be good for some pretty high heat. And then the sensitivity is 86 to 86.2. Let's get a quick look on their website just so we can see some of the other specs. Now their website is alfredaudio.us, so definitely give them a check out. But of course, paper cone, ferrite magnets, aluminum frame, and the FS is about right about 31, depending on which version you have. And we do have 18 millimeters of X Max. That is of course one way. We have a mounting depth of 7.07 inches and a cutout diameter of 11 inches. And then it weighs just about 31 pounds. And then for the box dimensions, uh, it calls for a 2 cubic foot ported box. And it says tuned to uh, 35 hertz. Well, that is enough about specs. Let's get right into this and check out this gorgeous sub. Guys, take a look at this. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Such a beautiful sub. Definitely, they put so much attention into detail into this. It is just absolutely awesome. Just have to take a second to really kind of take it in. So, let's get right into this. We have a pretty stiff dust cap. And then the paper cone itself is probably a medium stiffness. Not the stiffest cone I have ever felt, for sure. And then we have a nice, fat, high roll surround. This thing is really awesome. I love the way it looks. Should allow the sub to get nice and low. We have some uh, green stitching along there. Really just sets the sub off. Makes it look really awesome. Um, it looks like we have two spiders. One down here and one up here. Then this really, really awesome cast aluminum basket. Again, I love just seeing a different basket that's unique, really uh, unique to their sub. So that is super cool. And then we have really nice push terminals. They're not wiggly or don't feel cheap at all. And then, of course, the mount that they're connected to is super sturdy. It's not going to bend or break. And then we have the flat tensile leads. Now, you all know I love the flat tensile leads. In my opinion, they just look so clean. And it allows them to be a little bit more flexible because they're thinner and wider. And it should help dissipate heat along them a little bit better as well. And, of course, they're sewn into the spider. And there seems to be plenty of extra. So when you're in your full um, excursion, you're not going to have to worry about them pulling or breaking. And then inside, we have the uh, 2.75-inch voice coil with the black high-temp glue on it. Looks very neat and clean. And then down here, we have this big old motor. Now, the one thing I could not find... Uh, was the weight of the motor. It does look to be over a 200 ounce though, maybe 230 or 250 or something like that. They have a little sticker on the bottom. Now one thing to note, there is no center venting or pole venting on this sub. 
But that being said, we do have plenty of venting up here. Let's get y'all a little closer look at the sub. I really do love this nice thick surround on it and the stitching really sets it off and makes it look awesome. And then this just awesome basket. This thing looks so cool, guys. Get some light so y'all can kind of see in there. Overall, guys, just such a clean and well-made sub. All right, guys, overall, I am just blown away by the quality of this sub. It does look absolutely gorgeous. A Def Bonds definitely does a good job putting their subs together and just puts a lot of attention to detail into their products. I know tons of people that I spoke to just love their subs. So I'm excited to get this in a box and test it out. Now this retails for $2.69. So that kind of puts you right in the range of the American Base HD and the Scar VXF and the Rockville Destroyer and a couple of other subs right in that price range. Now I do hope to be testing all those out here soon in the uh, future. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. But yeah guys. Let's get this thing in a box and start testing it out. So guys, since we have it in there, I'm going to play it for a few days, really let it break in. I want to give you all the best review I can on this. So we're going to let it break in so it will be at its optimal uh, performance when we do run the tests. So yeah, what is going on guys? It has been a, a few days, we've been letting it break in. Now I had it in my smaller box and I was having a lot of trouble getting it to uh, seal. I tried some different gaskets and several things and just couldn't quite get it to uh, seal right. So I put it into my more performance box and it sounds a whole lot better. It is loving this thing. So this box is 2.7 cubic feet tuned to 31 hertz. Well, let's get a few videos of it playing so you can kind of see it and hear it, and then we'll get to some testing. All right, guys, let's test this out. We are going to start with uh, 50 hertz and go down from there. Let's try 45. Let's do 42. Forty. Thirty-seven. Starting to really see it move there. Thirty-five. Thirty-five sounds awesome. Let's go to thirty-two. Yes. 
All right, guys. 30. I can just feel it vibrating throughout the whole car at these lower frequencies, guys. It is awesome. I love it so much. Let's uh, keep going down from there. We're going to do 27. Twenty-five. Woo! She is moving. Twenty-three. That is awesome, guys. Twenty-one. She is still hanging on really good. Oh, uh, let's do twenty. Look at that thing go. All right, let's try 18. 16. 15. Uh, let's try 13. 12. Really see you're moving there. 11. And 10 hertz. That is awesome, guys. All right, guys, it's now time to do the DB test. We, of course, have my SPL Lab mini base meter hooked up and the SMD AMM1 so we can see how much uh, power we're putting to it. So let's get right into it, guys. Now, one thing to mention, this box is tuned pretty low. We're sitting at... Uh, again, 32 hertz, so not expecting it to get as loud as it could if I had the box tuned higher. All right, guys, we're going to start at 40 hertz and see what that does. Let's try 42 hertz, see if that's any better or worse. Okay, let's try 45 uh, hertz. Well, guys, we seem to get our best results around 45 hertz. So let's just start playing it from there. Turn the volume up a little bit. Let's see what we get. So we maxed it out pretty bad there. But we got a 140.9. And that was at 4,250. 8 watts. So with this box being so big, definitely makes it easier for the sub to mechanically max out. So we're going to turn it down a little bit, see if we can kind of find that sweet point where we get the optimal volume without it maxing out. And there's another 140 at 4,567 watts. Alright guys, so I did several more tests, but really couldn't get it much above 40. We were pushing over 4,000 watts to it, and this box being so big, it was just um, mechanically really maxing out. And it is tuned to 32 hertz, so not really too surprised there. 140 is still not bad at all. Let's check it out, see how it's doing. I do feel a little bit of warmth, but it's definitely not hot. At least not on the dust cap, so that's good. And I don't smell any voice coil smell whatsoever. So I would say we are doing pretty good. And I did have it maxing out pretty bad, but I don't see any dimples around the cone where it would have been uh, hitting anything. So overall, seems to be doing pretty good. Well, guys, we're going to let it uh, cool off here for a few minutes, and then we're going to do the RMS test. And for this test, we're going to play a song. And, of course, this sub is rated for 1,500 watts, so we're going to get the uh, amp to as close to 1500 watts as we can and of course we'll be able to monitor it with the SMD AMM1 so we'll see where the uh, watts are hanging out at but we're going to try to get it again to that 1500 watt range and just see if it'll last a full song like that so yeah guys let's get right into it once this thing cools off for a few minutes all right guys this song is three and a half minutes and we have the AMM1 hooked up so we can try to get it as close to the uh, 1500 watts as we possibly can. Let's start playing and see if it makes it through a song at its RMS power.
Let's uh, feel it, see if it feels warm. But it did really, really well. I did not smell it, so that's good. I'm feeling some heat. I'm definitely feeling some heat, guys. It's actually not that warm. I do smell a little bit of a glue smell from the port, but it's not a very strong smell at all. And I didn't really smell it throughout the song, so... Yeah, pretty impressed, guys. As you can see there, it was getting up into 2,000 watts, a good deal. And then staying between 1,000 and 500 easily, and then peaking at 2. So, it did really pretty good, guys. Definitely impressed with it. Well, guys, let's get a few more songs to wrap this up. And then we'll call it a day. Well, guys, that was the Def Bonds Apocalypse SA272. I really, really enjoyed getting to test it out. Want to give a huge shout out to Def Bonds for sending me this to test out. Guys, their website will be in the description below. Definitely go check it out. I'll have links down there too to where you can pick up this exact sub. Anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think. Do you want to see some more quality subs like this? Or do you want me to stick with more? budget-minded subs even though that being said you're still getting a lot of value for 269 bucks with this sub extremely well made and it gave me absolutely no problems and it sounded awesome guys even having it in a box that wasn't really its main spec it did really really great guys so I'm happy with it alright guys y'all have a wonderful rest of your day stay tuned for the next video